bold action by owner Bill Lynch. Will he face any repercussions from the league for this? I don't think so, but we'll have to wait and see now. This is an owner of a team, and the commissioner of the league, Jeff Plush, was in attendance last night and said he had not been even notified in advance that this was going to happen. But I don't know if we're going to see that or not. It was just very surprising, very small time in my mind, and in a bad way, small time, because I can't imagine this taking place. Can you imagine if an NFL team, when Colin Kaepernick and the Niners came in, refused to play the national anthem or did it while the teams were in the locker room? The outcry would just be immense. Uh, I also think just not notifying people in advance that he was going to do this uh, you know, when you look at what Megan Rapinoe's doing, she's in talks already with U.S. soccer uh, about how to deal with this and approach it next week when she plays potentially for the United States national team. So everyone's at least on the same page ahead of time. This seems just small time. No lines of communication at all before this took place. What's been the reaction? What's been the fallout in the world of soccer? Well, it's been pretty negative for the most part toward the Washington spirit. This is obviously a hot button topic right now, but it seems like they're almost hiding in a way. This is something that, um, you know, people didn't imagine that they might even do this. And so here we are. This is uh, becoming an even bigger story as time goes on. And Rapino told me she does plan on taking a knee if she is selected for the U.S. national team next week. That does take it to a new level because this is the national team, not her club team. And so... Uh, she's aware of what this is about, and she wants everyone to know that her, she has a message here. She is in solidarity with Kaepernick's message, uh, protesting police treatment of black Americans. And Megan Rapinoe doesn't think you need to be black to make that statement. Yeah, also saying that her being an outspoken gay athlete, many times her civil liberties are not being uh, fulfilled by some laws that exist in the United States. Now, before you even get to the national team game, that's a week from Thursday. These two teams are going to play each other again on Sunday, September 11th, a difficult day for everyone. But what do you expect is going to happen? Well, Rapino said after the game last night that she is going to meet with the veterans that will be in Seattle at this game before the game and have a discussion about this topic and the message that she's trying to send. She wants to keep open lines of communication here and I think no matter whether you agree or not with Megan Rapinoe's stance, you have to respect the way she's going about talking to people before this game and uh, trying to get beyond just the, the act, but what it means. And Megan Rapinoe saying clearly a conversation needs to take place between her and Bill Lynch. I think that would be yeah. wise for all involved. OK, let's move to Europe because we have a matchup. Manchester City, Manchester United. This pits two of the most colorful characters that we have in international soccer. And Pep Guardiola and Jose Mourinho. What are you expecting in this matchup? You know, these guys really dislike each other. <laughs> it's not it an act. It's so nasty and toxic when Guardiola was at Barcelona and when Mourinho was at Real Madrid, that it was just incredible to see how bad it got. Now, I do think this first matchup, now that they're both in Manchester in their first seasons, in the same city, rival teams, it's pretty incredible when you think about it. But I do think they will try actively to prevent any nastiness from taking place this week. We'll see if that happens, and we'll see what happens over time. These are teams that have won all of their games so far early in the Premier League season. So... This is an important game, too, and uh, Man City's going to be without Sergio Aguero. He's suspended for this game, so United will be favored at home. Very interesting. We're keeping an eye on the sidelines and also maybe the action on the pitch as well. Uh, as far as the American men, last time we spoke, they're going through the qualification for the 2018 World Cup. Um, Christian Pulisic, of course, got his first start for the U.S. men, and now he's playing for Dortmund. What are you expecting from him as his international career now takes off? Well, Pulisic, who doesn't turn 18 until next week, had a terrific week with the U.S. Two goals as a sub in St. Vincent and the Grenadines, then comes on for his first U.S. start against Trinidad. They win 4 nothing. He's fantastic in the game. Maybe the best U.S. player on the field. Wow. Now, will he get time with Dortmund? They brought in four attacking players this summer, only had one go out. So playing time could be harder to come by for him. So let's see, will he get on the field this weekend against uh, or in the Bundesliga and then Midweek in Champions League, he's on the Champions League roster for Dortmund. Will he get some time in Champions League? They have a lot of games, so you'd think he'd get at least a little bit of time. Because of what Tiger did over the last you know, 10, 15 years on tour. Um, it should be interesting to see the interaction with some of the younger guys. You know, the older guys, the Phil Mickelsons, uh, they've gone head-to-head -head with Tiger.